Howdy folks, we've got a brand new kit for you today, just been released, um, it's done by Doost Works and in cooperation with Amusing Hobbies, I think Amusing Hobbies is the original uh, producers of the vehicle and Doost Works are taking over, so it's to get uh, collaborated it's together, it's a German, uh, what you call it, a rocket launcher tank um don't ask me how you pronounce that um uh, i believe you pronounce it the vehicle as boardwalk iv um i say it's a uh, 1945 so it's near the end of the war not sure if it's a real vehicle or it's one is made up i'm not quite sure um i have to do my references um if I manage to find real pictures, then obviously uh, it's a real vehicle. If there's no real pictures at the start of the video, then, uh, then it's a made-up vehicle. But I think it is real. Um, you get the instructions. I do like the instructions from Dorse Works. Nicely printed, nice paper. We'll take a look at that. There's only three sprues in this bag. It's a very tiny kit. It'll be very quick to do. Just a handful of decals. Let's take a look what we get. Let me take a look at these decals. I'm not sure who they get to print them. I think it could be cartographer. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't say that on the box. Um, but I've built their tanks in the past and I've built their transport vehicle and their decals went down fine with um, Microsoft crystal clear and they just sunk down perfectly I've had no issue with, with, with their decals their kits go together so so well um, they're a new company upcoming but highly detailed but really good money for value value for money so highly recommended to check them out They have decent bags, nicely packaged, individually wrapped almost, so you don't get no sprue rub. That's what I like about companies, take their time and take care. No air fix. That's stuck in all your crap in one bag all the bloody time. But still check your bags as always. These sprues are identical. So these are all your tracks and wheels the tracks are all plastic they're not link on link but they are going to be better than the rubber crap you get there's some of the uh, rockets um, the wheels are nicely done and detailed dry sprockets and then you've got some individual links these are ones to be wrapped around the wheel but the flat ones would be probably the ones on the bottom some toolboxes even down to the wood grain the texture on the boxes i mean the detail you get for these kits are superb injection pins on the inside in some places where you're hardly going to see them like inside the toolbox you're not going to see that because it's going to be completely shut up there's no flash there's no burring. I mean, the to tension to detail is 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 second to none. They get there. They are really really good. I would say this is Bruce B. Uh, B. Sorry, uh, you get two of those. But obviously, left and right of the vehicle. This one contains the armament, which is the uh, rocket pods. It houses six rocket pods. Essentially, it's a uh, rocket launcher on, on tracks. Um, might have to get a new pair of scissors. And a bit blunt. Yeah. <clears throat> so, here again, there's your rocket tubes. These ones are closed, which is a closed end. But they are milled out. They are uh, what we call um, slide moulding, which is a new technology. Um, 
which has been around for a few years now. Um, so you don't get no seam lines, no two halves, less clean up. Makes the kits much easier to go together and less work. That's what we like. Less work and get painted and building straight away. No fuss. Looks like one of those doors or hatches. Some fine detail parts, some springs by the looks of things down the bottom there. So I have to be careful taking these off the sprue. Uh, this is sprue C. And then this is your last sprue, which contains basically the uh, the whole tire part of the, the tank. This will be the hull and large chassis and side skirts and everything. Again, all your ejection pins on the inside you're not going to see any of that because it's all going to be closed up so they do put them in a nice hidden place um, so there's the top of the uh, vehicle it's panels and rivets nicely detailed again there's no flash no burring minimal cleanup there's the side of the uh, tank you will have to put the sides and the bottom together it's not a one-piece bath hole but that's no problem um, there is a little bit of detail on the inside which is uh, your storage um, some more hatches side skirts a little bit of detail which is pedals and uh, levers you get a seat to go inside which is the driver compartment instrument panel so you do as I say you do get a little bit of detail so you might want to consider painting it up Again, the back of the seat with its springs. I mean, their, their kits are really, really, really good. I do like their kits. So there's this this sprue. Is sprue A, which is the main sprue of the vehicle. Now you get a nice printed booklet in colour. Information and warnings, the symbols, what they what ones mean what. First step working on the inside, what I call a bathtub hole, or most people will put in your seat in, even down to the springs. Um, you work your way like this. Next step is put in what looks like the foot pedals for the steering dropping it the top down so you might want to paint the inside a little bit if you wish to have the hatch open obviously you're going to see it but if you're going to have it all closed up then I wouldn't bother with, with the interior at all some aerials some hinges and hatches some structural detail parts the little bit of armoured shield around the driver compartment what looks like smoke canisters at the bottom your drive sprockets and I and main road wheels and idler wheels and stuff they all the drive sprockets come in four separate pieces two piece wheels for the drive wheels or road wheels I should say sorry fitting them all on you may want to leave the drive sprockets loose so you can wrap the, the tracks around it properly um, Side skirts going on. Mm, exhaust maybe is that? I'm not sure if that's exhaust. Um, then your weapon, which is the rocket pods or tubes. Oh, that uh, case houses some of the rockets. Um, but if you can have it closed up, you're not going to see them. But I, what I might do is actually have it open or to a jar or whatever. Is your first camouflage scheme, your typical camouflage from Germany, which is the uh, German dunkel ground yellow, the green and reddish brown colour. I like 
German vehicles in, in this camouflage scheme. Um, you get a stripy one, which is the uh, green and yellow. I don't like that type of scheme. Yellow, green and brown in stripes. Again, I'm not a fan of the stripy ones. You get a green and yellow one. That's not too bad. You get a captured German one, uh, Russian one, actually, strangely enough. Um, that's something different to do, I suppose. Um, be probably a little bit tricky masking off that white stripe, maybe, across the top. And some advertisement for some of their kits. As I say, I've built this one, and this kit was superb. I've still got yet to do the trailer, um, and I've bought the pans that are going to the back so I can show it off like, like it is there. Um, I've got to yet to buy one of those. Yet to buy one of those. I have bought this Panzer, the early version. We'll do a review on that in later date. There's two other Panzers. These are kits that are done by um, Tacom. If you've ever built the Tacom kits with the full interior, basically these three here are the ones without the interior. So if you've ever built the interior version, these are the ones without interior. Highly recommended. Um, check that video out as well. Later guys, like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.